Hello! The tutorial you're about to watch is a part of a course called Arduino Zero to Hero. Link is in the first line of the description for much more, 52 lectures and everything you need to master Arduino. Hello and welcome! So in this tutorial we're going to create an AND logic gate. And an AND logic gate is one of the main subcomponents of um, all microprocessors and microcontrollers such as the Arduino that we have right there. So essentially all it is is a circuit where you have two inputs which we're going to have buttons with. Um, and so two buttons you have to press both for the light to come on. In a way it's two input signals both of which need to be on for the third uh, output signal to go on as well. And the reason why I wanted to construct some of these logic gates and the reason why I'm trying to do them using uh, transistors is because all complex sort of uh, logic units, be that from the calculators that, that you use all the way down to the computers where you see this, are made up out of this type of stuff. So let's just set one up. And But I, what I mean by that is get this button in across the breadboard and have a 10k resistor connect to one side da, da, da. so this would be the input and this would go into a leg of a transistor in fact you would you guys would be seeing this a lot better if i maximized it so that transistor goes such that the base is on the leg of the button and then it's going to go to a dun, 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 LED which goes through a resistor. I guess the easiest way to put it would be like that's a 220 ohm right there and we can have our usual trusted red LED to go in like, oops, long leg needs to be there actually. So when I push this button, essentially this minus right here, um, if that went to the, sorry, the emitter, well, the collector, we're facing away. So this should, in theory, work. Yeah. And so all you do is a cycle of two of these, which shouldn't be that hard. I guess I can... Dun, dun, dun. So repeat what we just did. That wire goes there. Emitter base collector. We need a button. The button goes on to the base with a 10k input and the collector is going to go and connect itself to the plus. Dun, dun, dun. And I guess the, the simplest way would be to take this breadboard wire to the plus. So, in theory, pressing one button, you can almost see a little tiny amount of light. That's how much current leaks in. For the other one, you see nothing, but when you press both, it goes on. One, nothing, both, on. One, one, both. So there you have it. That is the AND logic gate.